Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing it again. So last year, I made a video titled, I want you in a video. And I'm pretty sure that most of you remember that video because I mean, let's be honest, why wouldn't you? And therefore, I want you in another video. Recently, I posted this little video on Twitter not too long ago, confirming that I will be making an entire sequel to Callie's Final Fortune, which was a big video on my channel. And if you don't know anything about it, then make sure to check it out once you're done watching this video. I originally wasn't going to make this a thing, since I thought Callie's Final Fortune was a true ending to the Callie Fortune thing I was doing on my channel. I mean, that was a serious, I guess. But because of the massive and over overwhelmingly positive responses that my video has received and because people really wanted to see a take two of this so it's happening gamers if you're a content creator that just loves creating content making people laugh with commentary or just being silly in general with high quality content how many times have I said content now? <laughs> then this is the perfect place for you now you may be thinking this is gonna be the same exact thing as before right? <laughs> here are some instructions Step 1, you may start off your video with how you usually start off your videos, however, I do highly suggest that you start off with this phrase. Welcome everyone, my name is- And welcome back to Callie's Fortune Challenge. Let's do this. Again. For step 2, you need to go into the Octo Canyon, talk to Callie, and she will give out a completely random weapon that you would most likely despise, or hate, or love, or like, I don't freaking know. <laughs> Here comes the good stuff. I've decided to insert some completely small and random challenges to add on to the current challenge because, I mean, that's how we'll handle it in 2020, right? 2020 is a horrible year, am I right? 2020 is a challenge. Each weapon type will have their own challenges, in which are not required in doing so, but you may feel free to do these if you're confident enough in making your life more miserable and add more difficulty on your submission. Shooters and blaster type weapons will need you to turn off motion controls and stick controls instead. If, however, you're already using sticks, then just use motion. Now, here's one of the harder ones. For roller-type weapons, this is the inverted controls challenge, which is... Yeah, you can see on screen, that's abysmal. <laughs> Charger-type weapons are the maximum and lowest sensitivity challenge, where you'll have to set your sensitivities to the lowest or the highest, whichever you prefer. Same goes to the R-Stick as well. Can't leave that behind. Ink brushes, Octo brushes, whatever brushes Splatoon has, will have the grayscale challenge. All you have to do is go into your system settings, Go onto screen mode, and you would see an option called grayscale. Turn that on, and then bam, you're good to go. Oh boy, no one's gonna like this next challenge. For slashers and smiling type weapons, it's the one hand challenge, where it's self explanatory, kind of. Play the game with only one hand, but you can use both hands, however, not at the same time, because I mean, it defeats the purpose of the challenge. And as you can see, this is clearly me struggling with the challenge. Hopefully that won't be you guys. And last but not least, the Brellas and Dooleys will have the first person challenge, where if you zoom into your Switch screen right at the correct position, it will feel like a first person shooter, which is kind of cool, you know? Oh, that was a lot of explaining. Remember gamers, you do not have to do these if it either gets too difficult for you, or you're just lazy, in which I can relate. Once you got your associated weapon from Cali, next thing you do is go into the lobby, pick whatever mode you like, Turf War, Ranks, League, whatever, even though turf would be preferred. I don't want any lawsuits from those that will lose their ranks from this project. And please do not forget to just be yourself and have fun. Now, you might be thinking, I don't have a Discord server anymore, so where exactly can you submit your videos to me? Well, my child. I have made an entirely new Discord server in dedication for this event. In order to fully submit your video, all you have to do is just make sure that your video file name is either your channel name or your Twitter handle, because there will now be two options rather than one option to submit your video. You may feel free to upload your video through Google Drive and get a shareable link to the file, and then you may post it in Drive Submissions, or you can also upload it on YouTube. However, if you are doing a YouTube submission, make sure to add hashtag Cali project in your title or the description of your video just to make sure that your video was made for this project. And that's all I have to say. Kind of. <laughs> Make sure that your video length is in between 5 to 15 minutes long, since I've had a few submissions that were unnecessarily long, and since I don't really know how many people would exactly take part in this, so it is best for me to shorten the length and please save my life. The due date for this project will be September 13th. Make sure to get those submissions in before that date. Don't forget to submit those in the Discord server, and uh, yeah. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for listening. 
and good luck to everyone.